Welsh Water isn't like other water companies. We're not for profit, so we invest every penny straight back into what we do, keeping your bills as low as possible. We put a lot of time and care into bringing you the best water. We take thousands of samples every day to make sure your water is clean, safe to drink and tastes great. We know from visiting friends and family that water tastes different wherever you go. It can be soft or hard, depending on the level of natural minerals it contains, such as calcium, iron and magnesium. This is generally a good thing. If it had no minerals, water would taste flat and dull. Sometimes, things can happen in your own home that will affect the appearance, taste or odour of your drinking water. So if your water tastes or smells funny, we're here to help. But before you get in touch, here's a bit of advice. A bitter taste. If your water tastes bitter or metallic, it could be because your water supply hasn't been run for a while. For example, when you've been away on holiday and the water's been standing in your pipes. If this happens, simply run the tap for a minute or two to draw fresh water through from the main. Remember, you can collect this water in a washing up bowl or bucket and use it for washing or watering the plants. A disinfectant taste. Sometimes, water can react with rubber or plastic parts in your plumbing system and make it taste metallic, medicinal or chemical. Some people say it tastes like TCP. The taste and smell is often stronger if the water has been boiled or is left to stand in a glass. This is sometimes caused by a problem with a pipe that connects to your washing machine or dishwasher. There's a special valve called a non-return valve or check valve which allows water to flow one way into the appliance. But if this valve fails or is missing, water that's been sat in the rubber hose for a while can flow back into your water supply. If this happens, it's easy to fit a new valve. Just let us know and we'll send you one for free. Problems with the kettle If you notice a funny taste or smell when you use your kettle, you need to work out if it's the kettle itself that's causing the problem. So, to begin with, try boiling water in the saucepan. If the water's fine, then the problem may well be with your kettle, which can happen if it's brand new or if it's old and needs cleaning. In either case, try adding two tablespoons of bicarbonate of soda to a full kettle and bringing it to the boil. Empty the water, rinse it well and try again. With any luck, your hot drinks will be tasting great again. Problems with just your hot water. If there's a problem with your appearance, taste or smell coming from just your hot tap, chances are you may have a problem with your hot water system, such as your boiler or the pipework. If you have a problem with your hot water supply, you'll need to contact the plumber to have a look. We've got a list of certified plumbers here on our website. Slime and staining. In rooms where the air is warm and damp, like your bathroom and kitchen, you may have areas with this slime or staining. It's caused by growths of bacteria and fungi that occur naturally in warm, wet places. They're called biofilms, or microbial slime, and they're often found around the taps, in showers and in your washing machine. The best way to stop this is to improve ventilation to allow these damp areas to dry faster. Also, try using a squeegee to dry the shower or bath after use. You can clean any stains with an old toothbrush dipped in household cleaner or a mild solution of bleach. And to keep your washing machine clean, put on a hot wash cycle, 60 to 90 degrees Celsius once a week. It's a good time to wash tea towels or cleaning cloths. Blue or black bits in water. If you have blue or black bits in your cold or hot water supply, these are usually little bits of plastic that have been left in the system after you've had work done on your plumbing or your plumber or builder. The only way to get these bits out of your system is to flush your supply. Remember you can collect the water in a washing up bowl or bucket as it can still be used for washing or watering the plants. Petrol or solvent odour. This doesn't happen very often, but if you've had a spillage of petrol, diesel or heating oil on your driveway or garden, this can seep through the plastic pipe that supplies your drinking water. So, if you think your water has a petrol or solvent taste, do call us straight away and we'll come out and investigate. We hope that's helped you to identify some of the common causes of water that tastes or smells odd. But if you're still not sure, please don't hesitate to contact us and one of our team will be happy to help. Welsh Water, your not-for-profit water company.